So you can play as, uh, for people that have not been part of this conference before, uh, you can play was, was founded after, I, I, my son Brendan came out, uh, he was a senior at Miami University, and he was the student manager of the hockey team, he used to be a goaltender. And uh, he came out in a very public way that in fall, the fall of 2009, and we lost him in a car accident in uh, February that year. So we started You Can Play, uh, basically the concept is, it's a group of NHL players saying if you can shoot, you can shoot, if you can fight, you can fight, if you can score, you can score, if you can play, you can play. So regardless of uh, your sexual orientation, regardless of which church you go to, regardless of the color of your skin, if you, if you can do the job, you belong on my team, you're my teammate. And of course, we have a big drop off with gay male team athletes. We don't have that same drop off with female team athletes. So we started You Can Play and uh, Patrick really has done the bulk of the work, but it's basically a, a message to young gay men that it's okay to be gay, you can be on my team, but it's a broader message, basically saying in society, if, if you can contribute, if you, whatever you do, it's enough. If you're gay, you're, you can be on my team. So it's been a tremendous uh, voyage for me, and, uh, but Patrick does most of the work. I don't want to take any credit for that. How long do you think, uh, obviously, you can play? Is such a, it is, it's very groundbreaking in the sense of what it's done and what it's accomplished so far. I mean, we've seen it with, uh, with Michael Sam. We know uh, Robbie in the MLS as well. How long before do you think that, it, that we'll see an openly gay athlete in the NHL and that it won't be big news anymore? And that, that's the one thing, I, as a journalist, uh, sometimes I struggle with. I'm like, why are we making such a big deal of this? Because to me, it's a nothing. But how long before you think that we'll see someone in the NHL? Well, we are now. Yeah. Like, like there's, we have gay players in the NHL. Just no, no one's come out. Like statistically, if you go, if you talk to experts on this, the low number that they will tell you is five, five point five percent. The high number is ten percent. So, I say to people, I, I don't want to argue about the number. Let's say it's seven percent. Say it's eight percent. There's seven hundred and fifty players in the NHL, so we've got gay players. They just have we haven't had a player who's comfortable coming out, and and that's a very personal decision. I don't fault players, or I don't fault anyone who's not comfortable coming out. I think, like you say, mm -hmm. it's gonna be a non-event. When that player, the first player that comes out is gonna find a very welcome reception and a very open uh, environment for him, but no one's been comfortable doing it yet, and it might be a while yet, it might be a couple more years. So make sure you check out too, You Can Play has a booth just outside as well if you'd like some more information on that. Mm -hmm.